Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see winding up of company, one of the important topic in company law, last topic of company also. When you take company law, you will take what is company and how the company will start, incorporation of company we have seen and who are the directors, how the meetings will be happening, like various topics we have seen. Generally, we will talk this winding up of company last because it is end of any company. What is winding up? Winding, winding up means nothing but putting to an end of any organization. Where the organization is unable to run, unable to proceed, unable to run the show, maybe different kinds of reasons. Maybe the capital is less, maybe they are getting huge losses, maybe they are unable to meet the expenses where, where they are unable to get the debts. In any of such cases, they may take a decision or a decision can be taken by a company or anyone or sometimes by the court, sometimes by the creditors. Maybe the decision is by anyone, but when they decides that winding up of company, will close of the company, will just shut down the business, then that's we call it as a winding up of company. When they decides that they wanted to wind up the company, first thing is that one officer is recruited for this winding up process. That officer we call it as a liquidator. A special officer is appointed especially for this winding up that officer we call him as liquidator so this liquidator is going to take care of winding up process like how many assets are their company all the assets sell it dispose all the assets then after that to whom they have to pay the first amount generally it will be for the uh, like uh, debenture holders first and also creditors like banks or other financial institutions. Later it comes to the part of shareholders, like everything he is going to decide. This special officer is going to decide and he is going to be helpful for winding up of this process. So with this help they are going to do. So how it can happen? How we can wind up an organization? There are three ways. In the last class, meetings of company also we have decided we have we have discussed three types of meetings right here also winding up of organization is also three types of ways are they to wind up any organization what are these three types first one is that compulsory winding up must mandatory they have to wind up the company as per the section 433 as per this section, the company has to wind up compulsorily, mandatory, statutory, when all these cases. When you find any of this case, then you can say that it is compulsory wind up. There is no other solution. So what are those cases? First one is that spe special resolution of the company. Special resolution of the company. Company has decided that we can't run the show, we can't run the organization. So there are a lot of hurdles and uh, not possible to run the organization, then they can take a simple resolution, simple special resolution to wind up the organization. If it is accepted, everyone is accepted, then they can just implement it. Resolution is accepted, we wanted to wind up, that's it. So this is one case, special resolution by the company to wind up. Second one is that default in holding statutory meeting. In the last class where we were discussing about company meetings, we have discussed about statutory meeting. Statutory meeting compulsory yearly, they have to conduct. First time statutory meeting is within 15 months they have to conduct. I told you one point also at that time. If they are unable to conduct within 15 months, the consequences will be very serious. That consequence seriousness is here. Default in holding statutory meeting after starting up the company, they could not conduct meeting, unable to conduct. Then the court may give an order to this company to wind up. So why? Unable to conduct the statutory meeting. So this could be one reason to wind up the organization. Another one is that failure to commence or suspension of business. Failure to commence means when the company gets the certificate of incorporation, 
within one month they have to start the organization they have to run the company they should commence their business once if they get certificate of incorporation we have discussed in the beginning days of company law classes incorporation certificate once if they get they can start the business but they should start within one year if they couldn't start then the court may give an order to wind up because failure to conduct the organization failure to commence the business on this ground they may wind up this is failure to commence or suspension of business they have decided within one year they have decided that unable to run the show unable to run the company not possible they could not uh, start the business or they have decided suspense they have decided that will suspend the business not possible so this is also another case any of this case failure to commence or suspension of business suspension of business means failed they they, they decided that unable to conduct failure means there is a difference failure means unable to conduct here they have decided not possible here unexpected here, this is expected so in any of this case also compulsory winding up okay next one reduction reduction of members below minimum you know that every public company private company minimum members how many members should be required minimum if it is a private company two members if it is a public company seven members if this minimum members are decreasing like private company two to one it has come one means minimum members are not there public company minimum seven are not there seven to six five like there is a decrease then automatically this is a reduction of the minimum members whenever there is the reduction of the minimum members it has to wind up compulsory because why they have uh, kept this clause means generally the, to protect any company minimum this much members are needed if not they are they are unable to conduct this is minimum thing which they are unable to uh, conquer in such cases it will be it has to wind up so that's about reduction of the members below minimum next one inability to pay debts inability to pay debts compulsory debts will be there so that debts when the company is unable to pay then what is the use of running the organization minimum debts they are unable to pay it so any of such cases also we can say that company is going to wind up compulsory these are the five cases compulsory winding up let me give you a recap of this compulsory winding up is possible as per the section 433 first thing is that reduction special resolution company has taken to wind up and second one is the default in holding statutory meeting and failure of to commence or suspension of business and reduction of members below minimum and inability to pay debts so these are the five cases for compulsory winding up for compulsory winding up any of these cases generally this is the uh, in the in this case they have to at appoint one officer as i have told you liquidator one special officer is appointed and he'll be completing all his duties like what are the company assets disposing of that assets and then after that that amount how it is to be adjusted to whom they have to pay and uh, like priority wise all these things are the duties of the liquidator who has appointed for this winding up process clear this is about compulsory winding up second one is that voluntary winding up and voluntary wind this compulsory winding up is remember always this is through the court only compulsory it is possible through the court court is given an order court has given an order to wind up in such cases second one is that voluntary wind up voluntary winding up voluntarily winding up means the company members board of directors company shareholders and uh, who are directly involved in the company these people decided to wind up these people decided that we can we cannot run the company when they come to that decision that's called as voluntarily winding up for voluntary winding up generally any organization they'll conduct a special meeting and they'll be discussing about the winding up process 
why do they want to wind up, what are the reasons behind this winding up, everything they will be discussing very clearly with all the members when all the members decided that let us wind up, let us not continue our business, then that will be called as voluntary winding up. In case of voluntary winding up also we can say two types of voluntary winding up, one is members voluntary winding up, members voluntary winding up means all the members company members, shareholders, company directors, company auditors, company employees, all these members they have decided to wind up. So that is members voluntary winding up. Second one is that creditors voluntary winding up. Sometimes you know there may be uh, inconvenience, there may be some kind of uh, trust which is lost by the creditors. So in such cases also creditors can decide to wind up the organization. This is through the uh, through a meeting, they can conduct a meeting and in that meeting all the creditors who are uh, directly involved in the organization they can just talk together and they can just decide it. Anyway voluntary winding up also here also one liquidator officer is appointed and he has to take care of all these things. This is voluntary winding up, one is voluntary winding up by the members and second one is by the creditors. And the third one is that winding up under supervision of the court. So company decided to wind up but this is under the supervision of the court, under the supervision of the court means they wanted to take the help of the court. Court involvement is there means you can understand that uh, the things must go without any delay, without any hiding the secrets and uh, without deceiving someone, everything should go transparent, transparently. So that is the main purpose, winding up under the supervision of court. Court is not giving order but we are approaching the court to take the help of the court, to involve the court to wind up this organization. This happens especially where organization is a very huge big organization and the process is very big process. In such cases they can take the help of the court. Now what is the role of this court? The court will involve, the court will appoint a special liquidator officer. Though there may be liquidator officer already who has appointed by the directors or shareholders, he is there in the organization he is there but still the court is going to appoint another special officer, liquidator officer to wind up this process or sometimes the court may say remove the old officers, we are going to get fresh, new, efficient liquidator officers, these people are going to take care of the resolution process, this is also possible. Anyway, when we are handing it over to the court, we have to listen to the court, we have to follow the orders of the court and whatever the court is taking decisions like appointing liquidators and how the how he is going to act, everything we have to listen to him because we have handed, handed over everything to the court. Now this liquidator who has appointed by the court, he is going to first observe all the assets, wind up all the assets and whatever amount we get, so that is to be pay off to the debtors, all the all the creditors sorry, all the creditors and also company uh, third parties like the venture holders, shareholders and uh, like banks, financial institutions, everyone, he is going to pay off to everyone, still if any amount is left, so that is to be given to the members of the company to share all the members if anything is left. So this is the primary duty of every liquidator, am I clear? Take a screenshot or write down. So let me give you a recap, winding up of any organization is very important process, here three types of winding up is possible, one is compulsory winding up, compulsory winding up means this is through the court, so as per the section 433. Now compulsory winding up is possible through the court only in 5 cases, one is special resolution has taken by the company, the other one is default in holding the statutory meeting or otherwise failure to commence 
or suspension of the business. And fourth one is when membership is decreasing and in the same way, inability to, they are unable to pay the debts. In any of such cases, court is going to give an order, statutory order to wind up compulsorily. This is one case, voluntary wind up, winding up. Means the members of the organization, they can decide that let's wind up the organization. Now, it's not the time to, it's not that, uh, uh, period to conduct the organization. So in such case, voluntarily they can decide to wind up. How? Through the members. First of all, through the members, they can wind up. Or otherwise, creditors also can decide to wind up. And last one is that winding up under the supervision of court. So that's all three ways, remember. And uh, don't ignore this topic. You can expect in the exam, company meetings or company wide. Any one topic compulsory, 100% you can expect in the exams. Am I clear? So focus on this. Immediately open your test book and start reading it. Now, uh, in the coming classes, I'm going to talk in depth of the rest of the topics also. Please stay connected. Check out the playlist, what are the subjects already covered and prepare well. Good luck.